So this is where we end in the first part and let's continue further to have this over here. There is something missing, as you can see, it looks a bit flat. I'll go to the material and use also the normal map, which would give me, as you can see, thickness. And now it looks really, really cool. One more thing to add, I'll go to the map here under texture type, choose normal and press apply. Okay, and now the normals are correct. You can play around here with the value. I like it like this. Let me check from the other side. It's always good to keep an eye not only on one of it, but on both. If you like what we've achieved so far, consider to subscribe to our channel and support us on Patreon. Further on, I would like to show you here a cool option. This is the alpha clipping threshold. Uh, if you play around, you can see here below what is happening with this mesh. So uh, closer to one, it's cutting the alpha mask is cutting the geometry and closer to zero, it's making it blurrier on the edge. Like it's here, you can see it's super uh, slight, but it, it's, it's cutting it this side. So this comes in hand for some situations. And another tick uh, like this one that you would need is the double sided. I will present you. So this is the mesh from this side. But when we enter, there is no mesh. <laughs> in order to see it from both sides, then click double sided. I wait for a, for a second. And you can see the result from this option, nice and shiny. Here, the reflections of the sunlight. You can see this cool effect that gives you quality to your facade. Let's say if there is a facade or a curtain wall or some other wall, you can see how cool it looks from the distance. Semi-transparent, slender, nice. high end I would say as well. As a final I would share with you something uh, really cool. It's fine touch and it's, it's going to bring your work to an upper level. So what is it about? It's about the normal map. As you can see here from the default normal map from Substance Player, we have here this dark moments and even though the light's coming from upper left or somewhere from the sky here is dark and here is white uh, it's inverted it's not physically correct how to fix this by changing the normal map how to change it i found found really easy way to do it with this online generator I load here my opacity map and based on it, it's going to create me a new normal. Uh, I wait a bit until it loads. Okay, great. Here you can stop the rotation of the preview. I'll zoom a bit and I'm going to invert the R, the G values and here the Z range to find the perfect uh, the perfect result that uh, it's going to, it's going to be the best for you you need to play around my aim is to make it to look like a tiny sheet of perforated metal so 
I would make the edge sharper, not so blurry. I'll put the level down and the strength also down. And then you can download the new map, normal map, and you can place it in Unity. I just wanted to show you what the difference between both normal maps are. So this one is the default from Substance and this one is the new one. Huge difference. So let's see the result. Looking forward for it. I'll drag and drop this, the new one, over here. Don't forget here to go and press Normal, Apply. And here below, drag and drop it. Huge difference. So, of course, this is uh, what I would like to achieve. But if you like this resort more and it's better for your needs, you can keep it. But this is more physically correct. Here with this, this new normal map, so you can see here the fine edge. The thickness that gives to the material a bit of thickness, which is kind of cool, I find. And here I can show you better the threshold. This is really blurry and makes it as if there is something um, transparent and this cuts, cut it, the vertical part away. So I think this is suits me best. Given the above, only by changing uh, the normal maps, creating new or adjusting, you can achieve different results and having a huge variety of options and opportunities. Another bonus, if you have this issue over here, as you can see, I see this thing before, as you can see, it's in foreground according to this one in comparison to this one. So go here in the material and click this back then front. It's going to fix it like this. Last cool trick. If I go and hide this guy and this guy, then if I grab this re reflection probe, and bake it. Just look. Here I have these super cool reflections from the environment, from the HDRI. I have them in my metal mesh. And if I bring back this geometry and this one, I still have my reflections here. You just need to keep in mind that don't forget to bake. If you bake this again, you're going to have it again. But you can fake it like this. It looks cool. If you want to have all of these textures, as you can see them here, set, prepared, ready to use, please support us in Patreon and you're going to receive them. If you enjoyed anything in the video, then drop a like. And a big thank you to everyone who does. If you haven't subscribed yet, click below and join us. We have some great videos coming up that you don't want to miss. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.